Hello, and welcome back to the Radical Removin. So, this is the year 900. The year 900 means very important things in Crusader Kings. It means that the Crusades can start, and this is actually really good for us. Why is it good for us? Well, one, we don't hold any land which is likely to be Crusaded. I mean, right now, if I was to look at land that might be Crusaded, well, you've got the Byzantine Empire is currently held by an Orthodox, which is an heresy, so that's likely to be Crusaded. Uh, is Bavaria the right religion? Uh, it is. Okay. But, like, the Umayyads, likely to be crusaded. Um, Jerusalem is a good crusade target. Like, there's a lot of places that could be crusaded around here, right? So, we would not be hit by crusades. The other good reason why it would be there, it would be a good thing for us, not just because it would weaken our, our enemies, is because it can start the pagan Great Holy War period. And that is great because, well, then we can declare Great Holy Wars. And obviously by the name, they're great. But if we, de say, declare a Holy War here, we get two provinces. Kind of not very good. We declare a Holy War, we declare a Great Holy War, we get the entire kingdom. So definitely we want that to happen. To get it to happen, there are a couple of conditions that need to be fulfilled, or, well, one of many conditions, and it'll happen with a mean time to happen of three months, so on average, around three months. So, one is that the Byzantine Empire is held by a non-Christian. Now, I don't know whether the heresy counts, like whether them being Orthodox, because Orthodox is an iconoclast heresy, whether that counts as um, him not being Christian for the purposes of this, I think it might. If it does, this means that within, not within, it means around three months from the year 900, um, basically the crusade would start. Now, right now it is, he's been ruling since the start of 900, which means that we'd be five months in. So I would be expecting, if this condition is active, for it to be firing at any moment now, we would get the crusade starting. If this doesn't count, then there are a couple other things. If Thrace or... Uh, Ancrea are not held by Christians, so if we go and have a look at Thrace, let's just go through each one. Thrace, so that's the uh, them over here, I guess. So this guy is currently Orthodox, same deal. Um, it doesn't. Actually, I think only the top level matters for these, but yeah, Thrace. If um, An Ancira, I think it is. An Ancira, something like that. Anyway. If this one is held by a non-Christian, which currently Orthodox, same as everywhere else. Or if both Athens and Corinth are held by non-Christians. I hit the wrong one. Uh, so, obviously, Athens is down the south there. And I don't actually know where Corinth is. But I probably should. Yeah, it's right next to Athens. Shocker. Right. So, if any of them are non-Christian... The Christian Holy War period will start. Although for Athens, you need both of those. Pro for the Athens-Corinth one, I believe both of them need to not be held by Christians. So we could actually make that happen. If we were to head down here and, say, um, try and take that land, we could potentially get the Crusades to happen that way. The next one is the fall of Rome. If the papacy, well, or if Roma, I guess, but right now it's the papacy, is not held by a Christian... Yep, the Pope is a Christian. Thought I'd just have a look at that one there. He is, in fact, Catholic. Um, then, the Crusades would start. Again, fairly straightforward. I think Rome is going to be more difficult to get. But there we go. The next one is France Threatened. So, if Provence, which is down here. If uh, Toulouse, which I think is over here somewhere. Or if Paris is not held by a Christian then the Crusades will start. Currently, Catholic. Uh, well, I think only top level counts again, but Catholic and then probably Catholic, if I had to guess. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's all Catholic underneath here. Yeah. So, that if any of them weren't Catholic, then the Crusades would start. Next one is Germany not controlled. So, uh, Cologne uh, or Brunswick are, not, are Christian, but held by non-Christian. It's a very specific one, but I'm assuming that's because uh, in earlier starts they can not be Christian at the start. Um, so they're like here-ish, I think. Yeah, if I remember right. Anyway, um, so that's going to be difficult, getting into France and doing those ones. 
I think the Byzantine Empire are a better target for us, potentially. What kind of wars can we do here? Obviously, they're the great holy wars we can't declare right now. But no, that's it. Okay. France, any wars that we can declare? As you hold most of the rest of it. We could do a holy war for Mecklenburg. That's going to be difficult, and it's not really going to get us what we want. But it might still be worth doing it to weaken France. Okay. And the papacy, I assume we don't... Yeah, we, we can't don't have any valid wars on the papacy. So, yeah... Although we want these things to happen, it's going to be difficult. But there we go. Anyway, let's get back to ourselves. Uh, I do want to do more wars because, um, you know, we, we've been kind of uh, doing a lot of vassal management. And vassal management, although I find it quite interesting and fun, obviously is not everybody's uh, cup of tea. But if we have a look at us, well, if we have a look at our vassals now, they're all pretty much removing, which is kind of what we're going for. Right. Um... Well, let's just have a look around us. Let's just pick people. I, I kind of want to go this direction. Because I do want to get the land which could potentially trigger the crusade. So let's start moving there. Poland. Have a look at you. Declare a war. Uh, we can declare for one thing. Or we can declare holy wars. Or we can declare conquests. Okay. Um, I'm not 100% wanting to do a holy war. Because everything over here is Christian. That could cause us a lot of issues. He is Christian, isn't he? Yeah, because he convert. Oh, no, he's Slavic. Oh, never mind. That's absolutely fine, then. Um, although that would mean that Bohemia and Pomerania would join in. That's, that's absolutely fine, yeah. We, we can declare on Poland. Yeah, they're, they're not actually that strong, then. Looking at that. So if we were to declare a holy war for... Actually, I want to declare on Pomerania for going to declare on all the Slavic people. Now that I think about it, because we want our last holy site, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if I declare on Pomerania 4, what's it? Uh, ah, we can't actually get our holy site. Oh, no, we could. If I declare for Rugen there, we get our holy site. We lose the uh, continue, uh, contiguous borders, but that's all right. Uh, let's declare that. Let's just go for it. Do we have any troops? Well, you know, unnecessary really, but that's fine. We'll get some troops. We'll get some men. Who's that not joining... Um, I can't see because I technically called them in. I want to see who wasn't joining uh, our ward. Somebody not like me. Uh, yeah, some people don't like me. Attempted murder of parent. Uh, whatever, you know, get over it. It seems that everyone is trying to trump me. Trump me. My huntsman killed more prey than I. My counselors found better solution to the rebellious peasants than mine. They started to feel that everyone was better than me, no matter what. Um, I think I want to be kind. Yeah, we're kind. Nice. We'll, we'll be a little bit uh, more kind than other um, characters we played. Oh, fantastic. Uh, you've actually managed to convert the uh, province of that faith. To that faith. Uh, that was really quick. So quick I can't even reassign you to a new job. Okay. Uh, so some people are getting called in here. So that's the... Wait. The king of Pomerania has joined the king of... Po wait, are they both the king? Oh, it's king of Pannonia. Oh, okay, it's joined the King of Pomerania. That's not confusing at all. They're also very small, so it was easy to miss them, and in roughly the same spot. Who's landing here? Somebody was definitely landing on our capital with one boat's worth of men. It's not really on. Oh yeah, we still have people in prison. Do we have concubines? Yeah. Um, I think you're getting sacrificed. Yeah. That's fine. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, do we have the ability to do a, a mass sacrifice while at war? Ah, we don't have the top level stuff for that. Well, there's an easy way to get that to happen. So, sacrifice. That's fine. Let's keep sacrificing till we get events. That's fine. More sacrificing. More sacrificing. There we go. Keep going. Uh, I'll do till we're down at 20 prisoners. And then I'll see whether that's enough to get the next level we need to do a uh, mass sacrifice. There we go. That's fine. Fantastic. We got Hemophant. Chance we lose kind. And we didn't lose kind. Lovely. Right, so now we can perform our mass sacrifice. Um. Oh, so you can't. it doesn't sacrifice everyone in your prison, even if you have a lot in your prison. Do you want to make everyone, all of Lithuania, run with blood? 
Yeah, I guess so. That sounds good. We're now known as Scarlet Hands. And we have to sacrifice each of these people individually. Hmm. It seems like they could have made sacrifice an easier thing to do. Just going to put it out there. That they could have made it easier to do. At the very least, what they could have done is made it um, work with hotkeys for the sacrificing. So that you didn't have to do this. But that's okay. We will sacrifice in this way. Oh, I should probably ransom off people who can be ransomed, right? Yeah, there were a few more actually who uh, possibly we could have waited on to uh, ransom them. That's okay. Uh, I'm not going to banish you. I'm just going to sacrifice you. It's alright. Should have a few more to sacrifice here. That's alright. Another one. Sacrifice. There we go. Continue pushing up that prestige number. High chief there. Something something. That's fine. Seems like everyone gets sacrificed for the exact same amount. I gotta assume that there's some good ones for like if you sacrifice the Pope. I mean that, that could be pretty cool. But um, right now we're just gonna sacrifice them all individually. And that'll, that'll work for just now. Right. Now the sacrifice. Now the sacrifice. Yeah, I'm on. Oh, we only got four more sacrifices to go. Perfect. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. I mean, there's a good reason not to join the band of Medina and uh, lead armies. Because of the amount of prisoners we get. Oh, dear. And having to sacrifice them all. Right. There we go. They've all been sacrificed. I'm now going to head out over to the war. If everyone's all right. Good. That didn't get us the next rank up. Maybe it was too soon to the previous rank up. But seems like that should have got us the next rank up, given how many we just sacrificed. Right. Uh, ooh, open council position for a spy master. That's going to go to that guy. Uh, who can do spy mastery things. We can also call in allies, and they will join. Nice. That's okay. Join this battle. Won that battle. Right, assault it down. Next province. Uh, we can negotiate with Hjalmar. Not going to do that. Next province. Right. Just continue slaughtering our way through it. Um... Okay, that guy's very impressed at us fighting. That's okay. Assault it down. Continue just moving our way in. Absolutely destroying them. That guy just usurped the land that my spy master had. So, uh, new spy master. Gonna be my courtier here. I don't really want to give it to someone who doesn't like me. But that's okay. Call in allies. Yeah, sure, we'll call them in. Right, assault that down. Almost got all their land, which will pretty much do it uh, for the war. Can't assault this because we're not leading the siege, but that's okay. Uh, head over here. Assault that down. Assault that down. Nice. Now we have the war goal. I want to go beat them up. Yeah. Beat them up. Absolutely slaughter them. That'll, that'll pretty much do it. Yeah. Uh, child likes childhood focus. Let's give you one of those. That's okay. Uh, they still have some land up there. I don't really want to leave the war goal, though. I probably just want to beat them up. And then just let taking war score do its thing. That's okay. Head over there. Beat up their army again. Head back down. Oh, down and around. So down and around. Is that really how you're going to get there? Uh, yeah, they can marry if they're betrothed. Right. That's kind of what I wanted them to do. Yeah. Oh, but it turns out the AI's route would have been better. Okay. That's... Wh where are you going? He's running away from me. My Chancellor kindly suggested it would be a benefit of the realm if I study the languages spoken at foreign courts. No. I'm not going to do that. Warriors do not read books. Oh, I become shy. Okay. That's one way of putting it. Uh... As I'm swinging my blade vigorously in front of me, my trusted dog gnaws at the legs of my enemies, and the battle rages on over the plains. There's a cry from a soldier nearby. Incoming arrows! My lord, watch out! Wait, what is that dog? Whack! Um, yeah, where's the enemy commander? I'll kill him myself. Definitely. The sun is beginning to set when I meet with Britislav. My soul flare ready. After he clumsily dodges one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured eye. I, but I have rarely seen so much blood. Oh, definitely. He's getting no mercy. He's dead.
Right. Defeated their army again. Uh, lately, you have striven to act in the spirit of Zeminya by treating your wife, uh, Queen Jintari, with respect and warmth. Slowly, it has changed the dynamic of your relationship, and those who are closest to you have noticed it as well. So I say, praise be the goddess, or I cannot bring myself to touch her. Oh no, praise be the goddess. Go for it. Right. Um, I want to chase that army down, I think. I say we can go in here if this is hostile and just siege down some more land. That will get us war score, probably. Uh, I've noticed my son is not feeling very well. It is the flu. Okay. Court physician, deal with it. My daughter's toy is missing. I'll go find it. Um, and we found it and she's still mad at me. Yeah. So I've not still not seen that event turn out to anything good. I mean, it says it can, but I don't think it can. Also, this doesn't appear to be getting us war score. So I'm just going to sit in our province up here and just wait. Oh, we have 100%. Nice. There we go. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Nice. That should be our last um, holy site, right? 100% moral authority. We are very morally authorized. Right. Uh, I'm going to create a new vassal there. I'm going to create a new vassal here. And then all of that can get given away to... Well, let's go and have a look at this. Um, we're looking for someone who is in our realm, who is a man, who is not in prison, who is not married, who is not a ruler... Um, who is my religion and ideally my culture. Right. And they're good at fighting. Yeah, you. You can have... Uh, did I get the High Chieftain? Don't believe I did. I also still have the High Chieftain of Lithuania. I probably should have given that away. Uh, I do not have the money to create what I'm looking to create over here. So I'm just going to have to give that one person all the individual bits of land. Yeah. So you can have... Um, Whirl. You can also have. Uh, it's Revoke. That's why it's a very small list. Uh, Rugen, I think it was. Yeah. You can also have whatever this long name is here that I can't read because it's in very small writing, which probably means it is Rostock. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So he now has all of those. He can create the duchy himself if he needs to. Um, I probably should have given away uh, Lithuania, right? But do the people not like me because I have multiple provinces? No, they don't like me and uh, multiple duchies. They don't like me because I have too many provinces, not because I have too many duchies. Right. Who's worth money? 10, 10, 10, 46. 46 seems pretty good. We'll get a 46. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 26. We'll take 26. Okay, uh, and then I'm just going to ransom prisoners. There we go. Right. Walk back here, get some money back, war again. My wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Good news. Is that a... It does look like a peasant's revolt. Oh no, Pannonia's down there. Oh, okay. I thought that they were really small, and I was like, how did they have a peasant's revolt of one province? Oh, not peasant. How did they have a civil revolt of one province? But it doesn't matter. Because uh, they have multiple provinces. Right. Uh, ransom prisoners. Nice, nice, nice. Ransom prisoners. Uh, with my wife pregnant, I'm starting to worry if I shouldn't organize something special for this year's harvest, right? Um, I'm I'm just going to go for the medium option this time. I'll make a larger sacrifice to Zeminya. See how that goes. Right. Nice, nice. Uh, we got any more money? Oh, yeah. People are getting more money and we can continue collecting it. That's good. Now, in positives again. More money, please. Um, Perfect. Uh, Yeah, we'll have that. The pregnancy has caused my wife to develop quite the unusual taste. Uh, Yeah, we'll pay one, one gold. That's okay. Please give me more money. Thank you. Uh, I'll have some more if you have any. Nice, thank you. I'll have some more if you have any. Nice, thank you. I'll have some more if you have any. Nice. Okay. So I can banish these people. Ooh, 0 0.1 gold. I'm taking it. That's fine. Um, 1 gold. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of you are getting sacrificed if you don't have the money. There we go. 1 sacrifice. 2. 3. 
four, five, six. Right. Let me just click through the list. Oh, that was a good sound of them all dying at once. Should do that more often. Right. Two more sacrifices. Nice. Good. Right. Well, uh, let's carry on. I am now the max level. I'm a higher mark, and I have definitely lost kind. Yep. Good. But we're, we're very good at sacrificing people. And we have some money. Uh, we are still losing money according to our monthly expenses. How? Retinue upkeep. But our retinue don't cost anything. Because we have... Wait. Ours is all prestige retinue. Isn't it? Did I inherit retinue? Maybe that's where the money's going. Uh, what retinue do we have normally? Uh, I think I went for like this one. The Ardent Guardians, which is actually piety retinue. Yeah, yeah, because it looks like we're spending piety on it, which means that anything that isn't that is not our retinue. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to split units up, so... Oh, no, I went for the light calf, didn't I? Yeah, I went for... Wait, didn't I? I might have gone for light calf. I think I went for light calf, actually, in the end. I think I probably went for a mix of both. But I didn't go for anything else. So if it's not light calf and it's not... Um, archers... Um, heavy infantry, then it's not something we care about. That's the wrong one. Right. So, like, Cav. So, anything that's one of these light like, Cav ones is absolutely good to go. Anything that's just that is not something I'm having right now. That one's okay. See? Ah, we picked up some other... Uh, yeah, we definitely picked up another retinue here. Right, so you can head off over here. And this retinue, which I don't care about, can be disbanded. Right, I can now... Properly lead my retinue. And now it should cost nothing. Right? Uh, we'll wait till the uh, start of the new month. It's good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman. Um, yeah, I'll have familiar faces of family around her. That sounds good. At age 45, um, your aunt was murdered on the orders of Kagan Cat of Kazaria. Why? I mean, he's killed his wife. She's called Sharp Tongue. Maybe she said something rude to him. I don't know. Right. My wife asked me to buy her new clothes. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. It's two gold. Right. Um. So now we've done that. Uh, are we still losing money? We're still losing money, huh? For retinue upkeep. Really? I was sure prestige retinues didn't cost you money. Maybe piety ones do? So that's 2.9, right? So if I take one of these piety retinues and make it a new um, unit, right? So if I, oh, wait, maybe it's that one? Because that one actually doesn't look like it's the piety one. Uh, did that lower the amount that we're spending? Yes, that lowered it to zero. Ah, so there was one that was just heavy infantry. So that must have been this one. And that was uh, bankrupting us. There we go. Now we're making money. Jintaris, our son has been born. Fantastic. Good news. Right. Um, I mean, apart from the fact we have Cavalkind, but, you know, still good news. Uh, I want to switch to... Ca oh, yeah, obviously I can't switch to that. I was, gonna, I was about to say I wanted to switch to uh, late feudal administration. Not being feudal is going to be the uh, major hurdle on that one. Right, uh, can I get any more retinues? I can, fantastic. Let's grab some more Ardent Guardian retinues with our piety. That's good. Uh, and I also want to grab as much of the this retinue as well, the hunting parties as we can. Perfect. Right, so we're full up on retinue now. So we are now reinforcing 100 soldiers every uh, tick. And we have just enough to build another building like a war camp. Perfect. Right. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.